So Brandon, this is a great point because I think that are a lot, there are a lot of conservatives, a lot of folks on the right who feel that, re- myself included, by the way, who feel that Republicans have been largely useless. You know, you look at the last two years and you say, well, when mandates were instituted, where were Republicans? Oftentimes you feel like Republicans are holding hands with those big machines like Big Pharma, for example, the big time lobbyists. They're holding hands with all the same people that the Democrats are holding hands with and that a lot of what comes out of their mouths is like a phony interest in reducing the national debt, a phony interest in preserving freedom. And people can only look to like Rand Paul and Mike Lee and a few people here and there that they can count on, but the party at large is useless. So what is your take on a third party? And what is your take? What do you say to people who say like, I'm fed up with both sides of the aisle? Well, I'd say uh, third party would probably never happen. Um, but I do understand how people are fed up with both sides because I am too, man. These Republicans, some of them are just whacker than the Democrats. Um, at least some of them, at least the Democrats, you know where they stand in, in most cases. But some of these Republicans, they're so fickle, you don't really know where they stand. They're just Republican in name only. They don't have any actions cons- that are conservative or related to the Republican Party and what the Republican Party should be. However, I will say that it's worth us overtaking the Republican Party and, and creating an environment in which is going to be conducive for our country. Donald Trump was one of the first, uh, I guess, people to to be interjected into the Republican Party that wasn't a, a part of the Republican establishment. He wasn't a part of the guys who argue in, on the floor of Congress and then they go have drinks together at a bar and laugh at us. Mm-hmm. You know, so I think Donald Trump was the first wave. You you got other politicians that are jumping in there, um, the younger guys, younger women who are coming forth and saying, look, we're going to stand up for American values. Uh, we're going to stand up for religious freedom. We're going to fight against our own party if we have to, mm-hmm. you know, uh, uh, right here in the state of Arizona, you know, you have what they call uh, McCain rhinos, uh, people who are just a part of the establishment. They hate Trump. But, you know, there's a wave of people that are saying, I'm sick of y'all, too, because we love what Trump did. We, you know, we not like all his tweets and everything he do. He talk in circles sometimes. But however, his policies are effective. And you've seen it here in the midterms that so many Trump endorsed candidates are winning. And so I think that our focus should be let's re we don't have to recreate the wheel. Let's just, you know, get more of the Republican type people that we trust into office. Mm -hmm. And then we can phase out the ones who we do not trust. But to think that we're going to have a third party is, is nearly impossible because a lot of people are what we call low information voters. Some people are just dedicated to the Republican Party. I mean, Hitler could run as a Republican and people wouldn't care. They'll just vote Republican. Same thing for the Democrats. I mean, Democrats are pushing socialism, Marxism, and and, and people in the, that have escaped some of these places are still voting for them. Yeah, they hate Christians, they hate God, and not all of them, but I'm saying generally speaking, as the as a party, they hate God, and then you have people who are Christians still voting for them. So some people are low information voters; they're going to vote for whatever party they like. We might as well infiltrate the party and do what's right. And I'll say this last one, uh, uh, this one point. I think we're conservatives should not be afraid to run as Democrats in certain areas. Let me let me say why. In California, you will never get anywhere as a Republican in most places in California. You'll never get anywhere. However, the Republican message is actually good and the Republican message actually identifies or people can identify with it. They just will never hear from a Republican because they've been brainwashed to believe that Democrats is the only way. So some people that, that, that may not have run for politics before, if they come into it with a good message and they put D next to their name, it's a possibility that they may get some votes in some of these other places. We've seen Democrats do it in Republican places as well. And that's where we get the the term rhinos. These people are really Mm -hmm. Democrats, but they know they can only get votes if they have an R next to their name. If you want to watch the full episode, you're going to click right here. And if you want to ask me a question one-on-one, you want to do a one-on-one FaceTime with a group of your friends, whatever you want, you need to download Minect right now. Click right here and let's get talking.